The Fifth to Die by J.D. Barker is the second book in the 4MK thriller series, continuing the story of Detective Sam Porter and his hunt for the elusive serial killer known as the Four Monkey Killer, 4MK. As Porter struggles with his obsession over the case, the body of a young girl is found beneath the ice in Jackson Park Lagoon, with no apparent connection to 4MK. However, as the investigation unfolds, it becomes clear that nothing is as simple as it seems. Porter and his team, consisting of detectives Claire Norton and Brian Nash, are still reeling from the aftermath of the previous book's events, with Porter being suspended from duty. Despite his suspension, Porter continues investigating, driven by personal reasons. He is tormented by the mystery surrounding 4MK and his final victim, Emery, who was never found. The girl found under the ice has been dead for several days before being dumped, and the autopsy reveals that her killer kept her alive for some time before her death. She was injected with a toxin that mimicked her body's natural hormones, causing her to grow abnormally fast and setting off a cascade of hormonal changes that contributed to her death. As more victims surface, each with its own set of complex clues, it becomes evident that 4MK is evolving and this new set of killings might be the work of a copycat or a disciple. These murders share traits with 4MK's modus operandi, but have added complexities and deviations from his known patterns. Meanwhile, Porter is contacted by a mysterious individual claiming to have information about the 4MK case. An uneasy alliance forms, with Porter chasing leads provided by this informant, leading him down a path that delves into a past crime involving a wealthy family and a cover-up. Another narrative thread follows Emery, the teenage girl who mysteriously vanished, presumed to be a victim of 4MK. She is alive but held captive in a room by her abductor, who subjects her to psychological torment. Emery's narrative provides insights into her predicament, her strength and resourcefulness while facing a complex and dangerous captor. Across the ocean, Anson Bishop, the man previously identified as 4MK, is involved in a parallel story that gradually intertwiles with Porter's investigation. Bishop, who claims to be innocent of the crimes attributed to him, is on a personal journey, delving into his dark and troubled past. Flashbacks reveal Bishop's traumatic childhood, detailing his relationship with his mother and the formative events that led to the creation of his twisted psyche. The investigation heats up when Bishop's mother is found dead and the suspicion falls on Bishop as the killer. However, the evidence suggests that someone else could be responsible, leading the team to question everything they thought they knew about the case. The connection between past and present becomes more tangible as the team discovers links between Bishop's history and the current killings. Each victim ties back to the wealthy family involved in the past crime, suggesting a pattern of targeted revenge. Porter doggedly follows the clues, trying to piece together the identity of the mastermind behind the current string of murders. It becomes a race against time as the number of victims rises and the team realizes that the killer is leading them to an even more gruesome finale with a target who seems to be the eponymous fifth to die. With Porter at the brink of breaking through the web of secrecy, the narrative reaches its climax. Unbeknownst to Porter, his fate is closely tied to Emery's, as she may hold the key to unlocking the entire mystery. Porter's obsession reaches a critical point, putting him in the direct path of danger, blurring the lines between his duty to protect and his personal vendetta against a nemesis that has haunted him for so long. In the end, the story leaves readers with a cliffhanger. Porter finds himself engrossed in the mind games of a killer who always seems to be one step ahead. The cryptic clues, the elaborate traps, and the psychological warfare culminate in a realization that shakes Porter's world, forcing him to confront the possibility that the 4MK's legacy is far from being contained. The book concludes with more questions than answers, setting the stage for the next installment in the series, where the true extent of the four monkey killer's reach will undoubtedly continue to unravel. The killer's identity remains ambiguous, and the fate of several characters hangs in the balance, leaving the audience anticipating the resolution of this intricate and darkly woven narrative. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.